Hi guys, welcome to your February 2022. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the Tribe Al, what's good, fam bams? I'm looking for my timer, I'm sorry. Hello to my members, there we go, and my patrons. This is going to round out the energy for the last day um, before the what I consider for me to start tapping into the second half of the month's energy. The 15th is not a definitive date. It's more so as a, a gauge that I use because typically we are on the cusp, depending on what the zodiac sign is, of the next energy starting. Um, when it's, when I say timeless, that's what I mean, but some people, um, you know, don't believe in that. So if this is, you know, if you feel like, because it is happy, it's Valentine's day, happy Valentine's day. If you feel like, you know, the first half of the month is over and you can't watch the video because you don't like the way I interpret that, then this is not your video. Okay. Um, again, hello to everybody. I am going to go ahead and get your numinous astro deck energies out. Have already shuffled. I can tell you right now, Aquarius, that somebody definitely wants to bring the truth to you. Sorry for the banging. Um, there is a truth, a truth and clarity that someone is probably going to be bringing to you, or there will be a truth revealed to you. Um, and that's going to be coming to you, I would imagine, in the next couple of days uh, for the full moon in Leo. And we start right now. So we're going to be going in with the numinous energies uh, from the astro deck to see what zodiac signs, placements, houses, transits could be affecting this energy between you two. And we have second house, money, 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 second house, second house. I hope that that focused material world, possessions, finance, talent, values, so being solid, solidity. Worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security, and aesthetics. This is second house, okay? This is ruled by Taurus. Right now, you guys already know that Taurus and Scorpio is in the North Node and South Node. What was that? So that's what some of you guys could be fighting over, dealing with, or any of that information um, between you two. I do apologize. This watch drives me nuts. Second house things, assets. OK, what how is that affecting both of you guys right now? Um, I know that the full moon is going to bring some things into culmination, um, ending, acknowledged, adjusted um, um, Aquarius. And therefore, because of that, you guys could find yourself arguing or something has been building up to this full moon. It's definitely going to be affecting your read. The last five videos that's going to be posted because it's so close. It, they would have been posted last week. Um, and giving, but it, that wouldn't have been fun, but, but cause everybody's going to be affected by it. Right. The second house is the fourth house. So this is definitely something with your family. Um, and this is an energy is probably not going to focus. Yeah. Sorry about that. Family home, background, comfort, cooking, <laughs> inner world, real estate, shelter, self care, rejuvenations, habits, and shell. Um, second house is the Taurus house. Um, the North Node and South Node definitely could be affecting you guys right now. Now we have our fourth house, our Cancer house. Some of you guys obviously may have Taurus or now Cancer in your chart, or this is what, if you don't have it in your chart and your partner doesn't have it in their chart, then this is an energy that you need to work towards, period, okay? And this is exactly what needs to happen. Um, it could be where you're going to live, how you're going to get there. Who's leaving the home? Um, where am I going to live? You know, do I want to stay here? Do I want to sell? There's a lot of buzzing going around you right now with focuses or a reference of what's going to happen. And then we do have uh, the Queen Cucks en um, energies. Um, this is a transit that brings complexities. Um, and you know who else had the Queen Cucks energy? I believe Scorpio. Some of you guys are connecting with Scorp. Irritates, puzzles, mystifies complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the mark, requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates, or transforms. So this is definitely feeling like something around um, you guys making money. 
something with home or something with your assets. The first thing that comes up in my in my mind is arguing about money, arguing about the home. Let's go into the very first card. We do have the strength card. Leo references there. Um, it's been very, very hard to get along with this individual. Some of you guys, if you live together, um, you're having conversations about breakups and separations. Um, what are we going to do? We have assets to split. Um, this goes back to our roots and it's been a lot of difficulty become because of that strength makes sense. We also have the world. How do we integrate or do we not integrate right now? Your person and you basically are going through a whole lot. There is an energy in the heart place of the nine of cups Aquarius. Interesting to me that there is an energy of wanting to be single. I can do this by myself. Now, all of these has come out together. Pay, uh, the Princess of Cups, more Cancer energy. We're looking at Leo, okay? We're looking at the energy of the world. We're looking at a Nine of Cups, more Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We're looking at a Princess of Cups, more Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. What, and, and there's a lot of Cancer here. So some of you guys, um, I know that this is what's going on and we do have judgment. There is something that is calling both of you guys to make a decision. The decision is not necessarily an easy decision. Top of the deck is, uh, the deck is death. More Scorpio, water energy. And we do have the three of wands right here. Um, there's a decision. And this decision has a lot to do with where are we going to live, where are we going to stay, where are we going to go. The strength card is ind indicative right here of the fact that the decision um, is something that you may have to exercise your self-control, convincing the other person that they need to leave or trying to figure out the most diplomatic way to deal with something because there's a lot of transformative energy that's here. Somebody doesn't want to change. It feels like, should I say, should I stay? Should I go? Maybe they want to stay and you want them to leave. The world is indicating that this person is willing to work on this. This person is willing to integrate work with you. And I do not feel like this is something that this person has done the right way. In the heart place, again, we do have the nine of cups indicating that not a single life person. I also, I looked at that and automatically assumed Aquarius that it was the nine of pentacles. This is wish fulfillment. So I miss said or misspoke earlier. I automatically looked at the pentacles and went somewhere and it's not even a pinnacle card. So this is definitely a wish. Your person is definitely coming forward and saying that they wish that things could be different. They wished for another outcome, but they also created this. Now, if we go really quickly into their confession, I just want to take a little peek really quick um, and see what they confessed to you in that other video. Hold the phone. Um, because as we round this energy out, Aqua, I'm looking at this and I'm like, wait, um, they're definitely coming with an energy of feeling like you want to leave. It's coming through. So they confess to you that no one makes me feel like you and I'll take it to the grave. I remember this, e this energy and it was an energy of, you know, a lot of back and forth between you guys and a lot of energy of them messing up um, things that needed to be transformed between you guys, a very power struggle type of energy. Go and watch that video. This person does want to say they're sorry. If yours was the video that I predicted that they know how to pull you back in and you don't like that, um, this was an energy of uh, maybe you creating a, mo a monster um, and something needed to be done about that. Judgment is here. I feel like Aqua, you two know exactly what you need to do. And this is about it's about the resolve. It's about listening to your inner voice and really transforming. There is a decision that needs to be made. Um, there is planning that's being done. No longer sitting in a two of wands energy because we've automatically advanced to the three of wands energy. Let's go ahead and get into our clarifications. Strength is being clarified by the runner. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. It's been hard to establish anything with this individual. What just popped over? 
Aha, uh -huh. but the world is soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, or life partner. Is that how you feel? Because that's how they feel. That would this that's probably what this nine of cups is being clarified by partying. Time with friends, having fun, happily single, and living in the moment. And it's funny because when I thought that that was a pinnacle card, I said specifically, this looks like a nine of pentacles and start commentating on that and look down and there was a damn nine of cups and it's being clarified by that. A person who tries to make it seem like you're their wish and you're their soulmate, but their actions does not indicate that, okay? Um, they're sorry they have something to say, but can you trust that, okay? Heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair and breakup. There is definitely a breakup energy here. Judgment, it is wearing the false self mask. They hide their true feelings, pretending, deluding, gaslighting, and personifying. The top of the deck is the death card being clarified by self-indulgence, self-worth and value time to heal, doing that shadow work and self-appreciation. What in regards to your assets and your roots has brought complexity in this relationship? It's time that there is some real self-worth and value transformative energy coming from this breakup. Three of Wands being clarified by the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapting, finding out and change, things coming to the light and healing. This dragonfly is indicative of what might come out as I've already, as, as I already uh, kind of predicted with this full moon in Leo that's going to be taking place on the 16th. I will be bringing a commentary with that. So keep in mind that something will be coming to the light that's either going to help the decision that you've already been feeling or is either going to make the decision worse. Either way, Aquarius, you guys are in the middle of a breakup. There's been conversations about separate breakups and separations. Okay, been having conversations about se separations, breakup and separations. Um, something that's going to come to the light. What they're not telling you is just that. There has been an energy of partying. Um, pretending that they were single possibly, but I do see a breakup here. Um, we do have get more information. If you're looking for something to be revealed before you make a, a decision, meditation brings answers and we also have success. Ultimately, what I feel like is that on one end, you are their soulmate. You are their soulmate and they do wear a false self mask when it comes down to the soulmate energy. However, what they are, what, and this makes you heartbroken, but what's happening is, is that there is a fear of intimacy and that fear of intimacy causes them to go out and act like they're happily single. They don't even have their foot off the gas of this relationship and they're already going around and acting as if they, you know, it's like, and this is controversial. I'm not going to lie. Some individuals feel like once it's over, it's over and I can go and do what I want. Um, knowing that they're going to come back, knowing that the patterns exist, but yet they take advantage and exploit the fact that they know they're going to come back. So they use being partying and happily single and living in the moment. And I don't feel like they're single. I feel like they're partying, but I feel like they're living in the moment. And when you find out this is what's going to come to light, um, things are coming to light. Um, that confession makes sense to me um, again, and I cannot hide the fact that this is where we are finding out things coming to light. The dragonfly. Very, very interesting. I feel like out of all of this, this Taurus Scorpio nodal axis for you um, is going to be deeply cathartic um, Aquarians. I'm going to be bringing some commentary to you about that. Um, it's going to be a time where you make some big decisions um, and it probably is not going to be the, the best for you. Um, we just came out of some, <laughs> some energy for you has been all about Aquarius, all about Aquarius. And with this next, um, you know, and then your ruler is in Taurus. So it's, is having the Taurus's energy off the charts right now. Um, but 
And I think the more you take on, um, the more your planet is pushing Taurus to think outside of the box, which is an energy that will slow things down normally until you come to the party. I think on the flip side, what it is doing because it is in Taurus is also affecting you as your ruler to maybe instead of thinking outside of the box, slowing down and doing things traditionally. So it can have the reverse effect. But as far as what they're not saying, something that they've done is going to come to light. Um, you already feel this intuitively, but you talk yourself out of trusting your intuition, maybe because of the hurt and pain that you're going to feel. Don't do that. Um, this Scorpio energy, this death card is going to bring a reset. Don't talk yourself out of what your intuition is telling you because you already know this. You already know this. So um, again, what is this surrounding? Fourth house and second house things. Maybe they live with you and they're acting like they just acting crazy. You know, maybe they just jumped all the way out the box and they got bills to pay. Partying and playing all these games. But you guys got responsibilities leaving you stuck dealing with the with the bills and holding the bag. Think about that. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything that you need is below in the description box. Aquarius, you are number three on the second half and you will be extended. I am very excited to bring you your energy and I will see you in your next one coming up really soon. Bye, Aqua.